to my very very dearest NRI friends, overseas Indian friends and a lot of Indian diaspora who lives abroad. This is for you guys. Uh, I want to finally finally put to rest a lot of rumors that are being generated in the Western media that all Indians who live abroad have to get Aadhaar cards made uh, and they have to travel back and get these uh, identification uh, cards made called the Aadhaar um, and, and uh, it is a vital must, it is necessary uh, for all those who have properties in India. Uh, I want to uh, put to rest all those rumors, all those fears that are circulating uh, outside and a lot of people are calling us up, writing to us whether this is true and what is the de deadline that they have to do that. Well, let me start by saying that it is absolutely baseless. Aadhaar cards are only and only needed by resident Indian citizens and the NRIs and the overseas Indians and people of Indian origin who do not live in India or do not have an earning in India do not need Aadhaar cards at all for any purposes. So please do please trash all that news. It's baseless completely. Aadhaar cards not needed by NRIs, period. That is absolutely uh, uh, the truth. You do not need to believe in anybody who is saying otherwise. And if at all this ever changes through a notification by the government, then we would be the first to intimate you. We've done several blogs, it's on our website, we keep informing people, but I thought that I should do a video to tell that Aadhaar cards are not needed. There is no need for you to travel back to India at all. Now, another constant inquiry which we have dealt with a lot of times is PAN cards. PAN cards, permanent account number, is your number which is registered with the Income Tax Department of India. And there are a lot of questions that should NRIs have a PAN card, uh, do they need a PAN card, etc, etc, how do you get that? So here is my uh, advice on PAN cards. Anybody and everybody, irrespective of the fact that if he or she is a resident Indian or not, needs a PAN card, uh, needs a PAN card number if he or she has property in India. You need to register with the Income Tax Department, you need to get your PAN card done. PAN cards can now be applied online. You just type PAN, it's a government website. They have a full-fledged module which you can apply, deposit the fee and they will send the PAN cards to the country of your residence. So that procedure, you can do it yourself, you can do it through several agents present in the country for those who are not familiar with online, but it's a fairly simple way to do it and you must have a PAN card if you have a property in India because you, you can neither sell or buy property without registering your PAN card. It does not mean, it does not mean that you need to, uh, uh, you know, uh, file your taxes. Even if you do not have income in India, you just need to file saying that no income accrued in India and you need to have a PAN card for keeping your properties in India. So this is regarding PAN card. The OCI cards, there are so many people who still do not understand. OCI basically is Overseas Citizen of India card, which in fact allows you uh, to travel visa free to India. It is nothing but a recognition that you are, in spite of your uh, citizenship, which is other than India, they recognize you and differentiates you uh, from the foreigners. So in spite of the fact that you could be an American citizen or a UK citizen or an Australian citizen or a Canadian citizen, if you have an OCI, you are treated differently than a foreigner. And that gives you unlimited uh, access to travel to India. It gives you recognition. A lot of times when you want to buy properties, if you have foreign passports, the OCI card actually helps you to buy those properties. A lot of states are making it mandatory for people who live overseas to have an OCI card. So OCI card does not affect your current citizenship at all. It does not even offer you Indian citizenship. It doesn't offer you dual citizenship. In fact, there is no question of citizenship. Just merely OCI means Overseas Citizens of India and they recognize you as persons of Indian origin. I would highly recommend anybody and everybody who needs to visit India often to get an OCI card. 